Hi everyone, it's Fred here from Helium's Bricks with another LEGO investment rating video. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And these videos is where we actually pick a LEGO set, uh, usually chosen by one of our viewers, and where we run it through a metrics of analysis. So we've developed a, a, a tool to give a scoring a mechanism based on the seven uh, metrics that we use. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about those metrics, we do have a separate video, so we recommend checking that out. But uh, yeah, uh, in today's video, we're going to be picking one of uh, the sets. So for this video, we've chosen the comments from Zbricks and that one uncle. So and then they both requested for me to review the 71040, the Disney Castle. So rather, uh, rather a big set, right? So... Let's just run through that our metrics, and it's uh, the first one is affordability. This is an expensive set, three hundred and ten pounds. So it's uh, not something that people are going to buy twenty, thirty, and hold on to forever, right? So uh, five star rating because it's so expensive, and you're not going to have too many people uh, stocking up on this one. Next, we look at the theme, and Disney usually does quite well, but we're still in that area where we're not sure because there's a, a big variety of Disney themes, right? Some will do well, some might not do so well, so. We're a bit conservative here. Could potentially be better, uh, but we've given us a four-star rating for the Disney theming. Uh, these ratings might change over time as we collect more information and get more comfortable with, with the theme scoring. Next, we look at the ratio, so the price per piece ratio. And this set, as already mentioned, costs £310. Comes with 4,080 pieces, so it's a big one and has five minifigures. Uh, that brings it into a three-star rating. Uh, Disney sets usually are not that great from a, a, a ratio perspective typically because you know the license fee to disney is probably quite high so uh there's always a bit of a markup for disney sets that you'll be paying next we look in terms of the availability for the set so how widely is the set available from retailers and we would say this is rare it's not something that you're going to be potentially seeing on amazon sold by amazon so uh, but some uh retailers like xavi and a few others might sell it online like and so, but still it's classified as quite rare from our perspective. It's not a Lego exclusive, but that means it's a four star rating. Next, uh, we look at the shelf life and just got to bear in mind, we're looking at the average per theme based on the data that we've collected. And we've got quite limited data for shelf life on Disney theming. And it's at the moment, our average number shows quite short period. Uh, but as soon as this set retires, obviously that's going to take an effect. This set has been around for quite a while. Uh, but based on the average theme, we're giving it a four star rating. But if it was not it's purely based on the set, it'd probably be about a three star rating. But yeah, we've given it a four, but over time that might adjust uh, and affect the theming because this set has been around for quite a while now. Um, next, we look at the bus score and the bus score for this one. Lots of people obviously like Disney, like the Disney castle is as iconic as it comes. I'm not sure if they will be building another one quite quickly once this retires. So who knows? They probably will because it's probably one of their more important ones. Uh, but yeah, still five star scoring for this set because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's like a flagship uh, set for Disney, right? Next, we look at the box size. Uh, big box, unfortunately. Well, you got to put those 4,080 pieces somewhere, right? Uh, so it takes lots of space from a storage perspective and will not be cheap to ship either. So one star because it's a large box for that one. So what does this do in terms of the overall score? So this set does score quite high and the score that we've got is 7.09. So that does move it up into our top 10 of the leaderboard and it comes into third position. So yeah, uh, generally quite surprised by this one that it scored so well. Uh, I haven't personally got one of these yet, uh, purely because it's a big box and I'm running out of storage space, <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll need to consider it. So uh, we'll see. Uh, if you're interested in any other sets that appear in the future, um, make sure you, you know, there's three ways of requesting this that you can either, you know, leave a comment on our Patreon membership uh, platform. Alternatively, is also give us a super chat uh, and uh, well, a super thank you on, on this um, on this video with a comment that you which that you would like to me to review. And then you can also leave um, a comment in terms of um, on YouTube for the next uh, sets that you want to appear. But yeah. The next set that we're going to be doing is uh, um, Winnie the Pooh and another one that we're going to be doing is the classic Batmobile. So those are two sets that are definitely coming up in the next one. So stay tuned for those ones. But yeah, that's it for me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.